This dog, she's gonna chew the bone. Anyway, um, what's up guys? Welcome to the show. Today we're gonna talk about cold gear. It is getting cold. I walked her yesterday morning, Friday morning, um, day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. It was 15 degrees out and Excuse me. Um, one second. My computer's being weird. Um, it was cold, and I figured I needed better cold gear. Um, so, well, at least in the pants. My my cold gear shirt that I was using, I, well, base layers was, was okay, and that's what we're really going to talk about, base layers. So right now what I have on is the CQ. Oh, my God. Did I already forget the name? <laughs> CQR. So, and these are 90, or I'm sorry, 87% polyester, 13% spandex, and fleece lined. And I just walked her, it's not that cold out, but I was hot in this. And all I, only other thing I had on was a Nike hoodie, which is a fleece lined Nike hoodie, which has a spandex material, outer material. Um, it's, it's pretty cool, so I like this stuff. And it's, um, let's see, I have the pants here. I'm not gonna show you the pants, because I don't know, I just think that's a little bit weird. I'm gonna show you some other pants and stuff that you can check into. So, um, yeah, 90% polyester, 10% polyurethane, fleece line. These are the pants, um, and they are really super tight. But, you know, not, you know, like, cut off your circulation tight, comfortable tight. And this is, I got the Ranger Green one with the military, kind of look to it i really like the shirt it's um it's comfortable and it kept me warm uh my the shirt that i usually wear is a nike hyper warm made in jordan i'm not sure what this is but this one has that honeycomb i mean this was expensive you know this stuff's expensive this shirt i think this right here if I'm not mistaken, it was like $35 or $40 just for the Nike Pro Thermal Warm. And when I tell you that this thing is really super freaking warm, it is. I mean, you're only worried about your chest. You know, your arms will take care of themselves. That's why it's only got that honeycomb area in the chest. But the whole thing, I believe, is fleece lined. And then it has like this honeycomb. I don't know. It's just this. This is really super warm. And but this is it comes right up with it and this is only twenty dollars the pants were only twenty dollars and um they're they're really good now granted like i said today testing them it was only 47 degrees out here in philly um not not super cold but i'll let you know i i, I was hot in it so you know and all i had on was a, a hoodie and um my 511 jeans so it's not like um they were super cold it wasn't like oh my god like you know there was some cold wind coming through and I could feel it, but it wasn't making me cold to where I was like, I got to turn around. So another thing for your head, I like, uh, this is one of my favorite things. And this is a fleece line Timberland uh, PR. This is a cold weather hat. These are good to have too, but it's not as good as my Under Armour, just straight knit or wool hat. This is my favorite one. And um, I have others that I wear, but this is my absolute favorite. It's the most comfortable. And it's, um, um, not, I didn't do my hair cause I'm about to go get a haircut soon, but yeah, that's that Under Armour one is great. So if you want to, I think I found this at like a Models or something like that. So if you want to go and check that out now, the pants that I used to have, these are the ones that I used to wear. And these are from the fruit of the loom. These are like Walmart, you know, Oh, buy these thermals. Like you can't buy those white ones. You know, the old school ones, your parents used to get you back in a day, like, you know, thermal, like, you just they're junk these are junk these are from fruit of the loom uh 100 polyester that's pretty much all they are and the coal there just pretty much goes right through them they are useless so that is that um for a good top layer if you want to put a t-shirt or a sweatshirt over this i mean you're pretty good uh, but this is one something i like to wear if i'm going outside or usually this is for work so this is a setup for work too Cause you know, it's cold pretty much where my hair is jacked. <laughs> anyway, it is, oh, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it gets cold. So this is a, I forget the company and the 
tag kind of ripped, ripped. Oh, it's on the back here. True spec. So this is a true spec, and this has that. I found this on uh, who was wearing this? Black Black Scout Survival was wearing this, and he put the link in this. And this thing is really freaking warm. I mean, you sweat in this thing, and when you have this thing on. You're good to go pretty much. This is really all you need it to do because it has this fleece line. It's like checkered and it's just, it's really comfortable. It's got the thumb holes so you can, you know, cover up your, your hands a little more if you want to. And this is just a great, great thing. Uh, if it's raining he's and hiking and uh, just every, uh, every day, like work pants or something, uh, these are from Proper. These are my favorite. I love these pants. I have three pairs of them. That's how much I like them all the same color brown all right and these pants here uh these proper pants have all kinds of different pockets they have you know and yeah you know, i'm not trying to make a fashion statement here you know a lot of my edc stuff and everyday stuff is based on you know looking good and more fashionable but this is like more like gear uh line towards like you know, something you would maybe put in a get home, uh, bug out bag or get home bag or something like that, or maybe keep in your car or, or stuff like that. Or for hiking adventures, or I use them when I walk the dog, if it's uh, looking like it's going to rain or snow or really super freaking cold out. And uh, with combination with that cold gear and maybe that fleece line there uh, and a heavier jacket if it's really cold, which I'll get to. These are, these are awesome. They have tons of pockets. You can keep things in, multi-tool, magazines, whatever you, whatever you want to do. Uh, but the, pro the proper pants are awesome. Uh, another set of top layers I like to wear for walking a dog or hiking or going to the range or something like that are these uh, 511. These are the, oh, I forget the name of them. Oh my God. But they're the jeans, Defender, I think they're called. Defender Flex jeans. Um, these are from 511. They have a, a slot here for an AR-15 magazine or a Glock mag or whatever. Same on the other side. Nice big deep pockets. Nice big deep pocket here. Pockets here. They're, they're kind of like flexible. Um, I wouldn't wear these out on, a, on the town because they're just not, they're too baggy. They do make a slimmer version now, I believe, which I'm going to get and try out. But yeah, these are just a good jean for walking a dog, hiking, going to the range, or you know, keep it in a in a bug out bag or, or something like that. They're a little expensive to just keep laying around in a bug out bag, I think. But each is their own. If you want to, you know, maybe wear a pair for a while and and use them later, that's cool. So belts now. Uh, I always go with my Travex clinch cinch. I'm sorry, I always say clinch. It's cinch. The Travex cinch made in the USA, but um. Other than that, my other belts, I have a couple of 511, a one-shot industries belt, uh, a couple of 511 belts here that I use. This is my duty belt. Um, and then a 511, this is a good 511 belt that I'll, I'll rotate in and out here and there. Um, but it, it gets thick and heavy. Uh, the one-shot industries belt, I don't use too much because it's just a... Sorry, really... It's kind of a pain in the ass to put this thing on and it's just a little bit much, but it's got the Cobra buckle and this is a, it's a really good gun belt. I mean, if I'm carrying a heavy load, then this is definitely the belt I'll go for, but I don't generally uh, carry a bunch of stuff on a belt. So it's usually um, a fire for my, my uh, Glock, um, a couple extra magazine pouches, a tourniquet pouch and um a pouch for gloves and some other things but you know we'll get into that in another time but that's for when i do security which i haven't really been doing lately so anyway um this is a jacket that i'll use this is my emergency bug out jacket um this is also a jacket i'll use for when it's freezing cold and i gotta do shoveling snow and stuff like that now this is a custom made jacket that i actually made myself out of an old marine jacket i found uh in a thrift store actually i think i might have found this in my buddy's basement i don't remember but let's just say a thrift store i know i had two of them but uh this is a uh, united states marines official jacket uh, i believe proper makes these too if i'm not mistaken but there you go there so it's an official one made expressly for the department of the navy 
United States Marine Corps. So this is an official jack. It's not a mock-up made up one. And then this is an Aeropostel 100% uh, leather. So it's a real leather. And then Shapira lining, 100% acrylic, sleeve lining, 100% nylon, 100% polyester, made in China. Whatever, it's warm and it's like fake sheep. This is leather, uh, you know, it's not. And this is an American Eagle jacket, but I'm telling you guys, this is the warmest jacket that I have. And um, I custom made it. it I, you know, when I have it put it on, it's all fit and nice. But I am gonna take it to a uh, person to get it stitched up so it doesn't come loose and move around because uh, I, I like it that much. And at one point I was like, what am I doing with this thing? I just kind of threw it together one day. It was snow and I didn't have a snow jacket. And uh, it turned out to be one of my favorite, favorite jackets. Now, uh, this is another thing, like I'm not gonna wear this going out on a date or anything like that, but shoveling snow, walking a dog when it's freezing cold, doing workout when it's freezing cold. Um, we're just keeping in the car for bug out scenarios or shit hits the fan. Like yeah, on Black Friday, I kept this in the car just in case something you know bad happened or whatever and I had something warm. So there's that. And that's a great jacket. Now, if it's like 10 degrees below, I'll throw a hoodie underneath that with that and uh, something like this, a sheep, sheep wool lining hoodie um, with fur, great to have. Like fleece lining is good to have, but when you have that wool, like sometimes all you'll, you're gonna need in cold is this and this and you're good to go. Um, Gloves now. Sometimes I like to wear, like usually I'll wear these, like today, this is what I wore, my batting gloves. These are lightweight, they're perfect, and you can get, you know, you can get a hold of different things with it. You can get a hold of your knives. Um, one of the most important things for me is you can get a good purchase on your, your firearm with it and get into your trigger nicely. You can pull it out of its holster nicely, and you can also operate a knife uh, really efficiently with it, with batting gloves on. So I always use them, but sometimes it's just too cold for them. Uh, like the other day it was 15 degrees out and the, it was just too cold for these. So I tried to wrap them in these, but my fingers were just frigid freezing. So I went ahead and got a pair of glo work gloves uh, for walking a dog and just for doing general stuff and just to have around. And I came across these, um, from Home Depot, they're on sale for Christmas. And these are just leather uh, gloves, and I, I love the color because it just reminds me of a good working glove, easy to pick up, not, you're not gonna lose them. Uh, and these are just a leather glove, and uh, I wore them, it hasn't been cold since then, but uh, you know, these things are gonna be warm. There's only holes there. I've seen another pair that were kinda like this, but they had a spandex liner in between there, and that's gonna be cold there, getting into your fingers. They're I couldn't find my size, so these are a large. Uh, I usually wear a medium glove, but um, these these I like. You want to have a little bit more room in your gloves anyway, uh, so that way, if it's cutting off the circulation in your hand, your your fingers aren't going to be able to get blood, and um, they're going to get colder. So you want a little bit of room in there so the heat, you know, picks up on them. But these things are going to be warm. I can already tell. Like I had them on yesterday when I walked her. And uh, it was about 30 degrees and um, no problems at all. Uh, so yeah, these are these are pretty good to have just around in the car. They're padded up here so you can, you know, get a little scruffle. But now they're they're just, uh, they're meant for like impact gloves and stuff like that. But um, you know, they, mechanics gloves stink. You just get leather. That's just the way I, I, I think about it. The mechanics gloves are garbage. They always rip. We'll see how these work. One thing I pick up when I look at gloves are they are they stitched like around here it's glued i feel like that's okay but like look at the fingers it's all stitched it's all stitched you know what i mean so that's that's why i look at all that stuff with gloves so here comes our fucking favorite animal next door dog that dog just never shuts up it's so annoying it just barks and barks all right so moving on another thing um that's pretty neat to get is one of these masks. I wear this. I wore this when it was freezing cold that one day, and this worked out great. This is one of those face mask things, so it's a great thing to have. And then in my um, my survival pack here, I keep a smog, and uh, that's something I'll actually use too in the winter if it's really cold. And just wrap that around my head. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show you guys my uh, what I do for when it's cold and how I like to set up uh, my gear. So for like when I go to work, 
Uh, I'll generally put on a thermal if it's, but it depends on how hot. If it's over, like on a day like this, I probably really wouldn't need this. It's a little bit too hot, but I wanted to try it. And I definitely was hot, but it did, you know, keep me comfortable. So maybe it just all depends. Um, but if it's like 30 degrees, I'll put on thermal stuff or, you know, even 20 degrees because by the time you're you know in the morning it's cold and it gets a little hot in the afternoon so sometimes i'll bring extra stuff but um you know that's just generally what i do if it's, it's if it's below 40 or in that range i'll throw on like this sometimes i'll just do the shirt and not the pants i mean the pants i usually try to save or for like when it's a little bit like really cold like 20 degrees 30 degrees or 15 degrees i know some of you guys in like alaska are like you guys are pussies but yeah, um, you know, whatever, it gets cold, man, I don't know. Uh, so that will pretty much wrap up this video. I have some, I have a pretty exciting video coming tomorrow, I think you guys will like. So um, yeah, there's that. Storm, please stop chewing things that don't belong to you. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace, stay warm. Oh, I was going to say Red Dead Redemption, but it's not online yet. So when it gets online, we'll do that. But anyway, see us. So, whatever. Where did that even come from? Ugh. You're confusing me. All right, guys. Peace. Like, share, subscribe.